Hello everyone, welcome to the Bucket List Reviews. My name is Gibran and this is the review of... Hmm. So, what's in cinema these days? Um, Kong Skull Island? No, too pointless. Beauty and the Beast? No, too forced nostalgia. Power Rangers? <laughs> no. Let's talk about bizarre foreign movie titles. As I grew up in Pakistan, the Hollywood movies released there were mostly left unchanged. We don't have any Urdu sync group in Pakistan, so the titles in the language, sometimes with subtitles, remained as they were, except for the fact that they cut out all the sex and kissing parts, the decapitation explicit violence, that's the way to bring up a child. So with that in mind, I always thought that films like Jaws was known as Jaws all over the world. But nope. Jaws title was changed in Germany as Der Weisse Hai, which literally translates to The White Shark. But why? Why would you change the original title of the film? Well, here we are to briefly discuss this exact question. First of all, the most prominent reason for a title change could be that the original translation of the title just sounded odd in the country's native language. So for example, the off-the-wall comedy Airplane doesn't convey the humor in many other languages. If you directly translate Airplane in German, it translates to Das Flugzeug, which apparently doesn't convey anything. A title should entail its tone and nature without seeming too obvious. So with that in mind, Airplane was titled as The Unbelievable Journey in a Crazy Airplane in Germany. <laughs> Yeah, real subtle, but better than a direct translation, I suppose. In France, it was translated as, is there a pilot on the plane? A bit better, actually. And similarly, the espionage classic, All the President's Men, was translated into The Incorruptibles in German. A little too on the nose, don't you think, Germany? But interestingly enough, the French title remained the same, Les Hommes du Président, The President's Men. So in this case, the French can relate to the original title. Which brings me to my second reason. The film title should resonate with the audience enough so they go watch the film, obviously. But even the simplest of the titles sometimes just does not work in other languages. For example, the Woody Allen classic Annie Hall is the name of the woman Allen is obsessed with throughout the film. So naturally, the title should remain in other languages as well, right? Actually, no. In Germany, the film was renamed to Urban Neurotic shifting the focus of the film from the secondary character to the pedophile, uh, I, I mean the main character of the film. Well, I mean, they have a different variation of it, like Anna or whatever. So maybe the German film board needed to inject a little more kick into the film's title. But coming back to the nature of the title, if you're gonna change it, you have to make it somehow relatable to the film. Like the Czech Republic changed Bad Santa to Santa is a pervert. Okay, that one's awesome. Reason number three. There's a certain theory behind creating a film's title. It should somehow connect directly with the country's culture. For example, the sequel to Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me, would translate horribly and offensively in many Asian languages because the softness of the word shag cannot be directly translated to sex or fucking. So the Malaysians translated the film to, this is not a joke, a spy who behaved very nicely around me. Normally I would make fun of this, but I, I don't think I can come up with anything better. And similarly, the title of the film should not under any circumstances remind the viewers of something prior. Unless they really want to, of course. The Marvel Cinematic Magnum Opus, The Avengers, was changed to Avengers Assemble in the UK market. The simple reason being that there's already a famous British spy show, Avengers in the mid-60s. So naturally, Marvel Studios won't want the audience to expect a spy thriller or any sort of connection to the TV show. It is also worth pointing out that if an American title is shipped overseas, it should not contain anything that exists only in America. For example, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle was changed in the UK to Harold and Kumar get the munchies, which I think was a very good alternative since White Castle restaurants only exist in the US. But okay, judging from all this, you must be wondering that title translation always spells disasters to the credibility of the movie, right? Well, not necessarily. There are some instances that the foreign title actually captured the spirit of the film much better than the original title did. The Pixar film Brave was renamed in Germany Merida, Legend of the Highlands. Sure, it sounds a bit generic, but who the fuck decided to name this film Brave? 
The character's name is Mairead in the film, so expressing just a single part of her nature doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. I'm actually convinced that the title of the film is one of the main reasons why the film didn't connect with the fans all that well. And similarly, Monty Python and the Holy Grail was translated in Germany into the Knights of the Coconut, which I personally believe captures the humor of Monty Python much better. The original title merely explains the main plot of the film. Also, the Peter Pan Johnny Depp tale, Finding Neverland, was changed in Germany to When Dreams Learn to Fly, which captures the spirit of Peter Pan much better in my opinion. In conclusion, I find it really interesting that an inaccurate title change can make or break the film in a foreign box office. So the film board needs to be extra careful not screwing it up. All the hard work and promotion can easily go down the drain. As a bonus, being John Malkovich was translated in Japan into Malkovich's hole. <laughs> oh Japan, you and your pervy stuff. But of course, I could go on with crazy movie titles, but I think we've covered the wider reasons behind it. But let me know what you guys think. Do you know any crazy movie titles worth sharing? I would also like to make a sequel to this video in the near future perhaps, covering foreign movie titles that were horribly translated into the English market. So give a big old thumbs up to this video and let me know. And as always, this is Gibran bringing you the films that you have to watch before you kick the bucket.